Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Great Well Strategies. This is Eric Kenyon, also known as Regular Joe, and I've got my cup of coffee here, wide awake. And like I told you guys right around Christmas, I'm getting ready to start doing my blogging and filling you guys up with tons of information. Uh, I'm still looking for some comments in the bottom of that post to kind of direct my my uh, vlogs that I'm putting out so that it's most helpful for you guys. But uh, there are two things that I want to touch on very quickly today. This will be a very short post. Uh, the two things I wanted to talk about were the, uh, the U.S.-China trade deal. Uh, as we know or don't know, uh, we've come to the table with a phase one agreement, which is really the building block. It's the bottom of the new financial system that we're looking at uh, rolling out throughout 2020. And this deal really needs to happen because of the two world's greatest superpowers out there with, uh, within the financial trade realms and everything else with GDP and, and what these two countries uh, represent worldwide. So it's a big, huge accomplishment for Trump, at least at this point in time, that we're going to be seeing this trade deal signed. It looks like it's going to be on the 13th. It was going to be a commemorative type signing. Uh, I do believe that the trade deal has already been signed, and this is going to be one that's going to be uh, just as a commemoration and uh, just for the pens to be signed and the books to be passed back and forth between each other. The other thing that happened, um, which should be totally finalized by this Friday, Friday the 10th, is the uh, US uh, MCA, the new trade agreement. Uh, the, trade agreement, the trade agreements that Trump is making bilaterally uh, with countries throughout the world right now is really going to change the, uh, the financial landscape uh, of the world at this point. It's a pretty unique way. And one of the reasons this is happening is a lot of the central banks are debasing themselves off the dollar. Uh, the, the petrodollar is no longer really going to be seen as a world uh, reserve currency even though it's still the strongest in the world right now, but by doing these bilateral trade agreements and working with countries individually, uh, we're gonna have a much better prospect and future here in the United States for manufacturing and jobs and a variety of other things. So uh, two big things happening this week. I'm going to try and get on this and do some more posts for you guys so that you know what's going on. But thanks for uh, checking in to Coffee with Great Wealth Strategies, and we'll see you shortly. Thanks. Bye-bye.